What are the steps to practicing evidence-based medicine? This figure shows the five steps of evidence-based practice. When we encounter a clinical uncertainty, the first step is to ask an answerable clinical question. Step number two is to acquire the best available evidence to answer that question. Step three is to appraise that evidence for its scientific rigor. Step four, if the information is methodologically sound, we apply it to the care of our patient, combining it with the patient's values and expectations in the clinical state and circumstances within which we work. And finally, step five, we have to assess how well we did on the previous four steps. If we find we lack skills or our skills are insufficient to be efficient, then this is the time where we have to improve our skills so that next time we have a clinical question, we can answer it efficiently. Now, depending on how many of these steps we take, we'll be in one of three modes of practicing evidence-based medicine. The most time-intensive mode is the doing mode. In this mode, we practice evidence-based medicine by applying all five steps to answering a clinical question. The using mode is becoming a much more common mode because a lot of pre-appraised resources have become available. In the using mode, we can skip step three, which is the critical appraisal step, because we're using a resource in which somebody else has already done the critical appraisal for us. Therefore, we can just apply the information to the care of our patient. And finally, the replicating mode is the least time-intensive mode, because here we just seek out an expert opinion and apply it directly to our patient, therefore skipping steps two and three um, in the model of practicing evidence-based medicine. We move among these individual modes depending on a variety of factors. One of the, the main factors in determining which mode will be in is the time that we have available. If we have very little time, we're much more likely to be used to replicating mode because this takes the least amount of time. The more time we have, we can do the doing mode or the using mode as these do take a little bit more time um, to use to answer a clinical question. The other main determinant in which mode we'll be practicing in is the clinical question itself. For some things, there's just not a lot of evidence available to answer that question, and we may have to rely on expert opinion only in the replicating mode to answer that question. For other things, there's lots of evidence out there, and we can either use the using mode or the doing mode. Our EBM skills will also determine what mode we're in. The doing mode requires the most skills um, to be able to answer a question, whereas the replicating mode requires the least amount of EBM skills. The resources we have available will also determine what mode that we're in. If we have no access to pre-appraised resources, we won't be able to do the using mode. If we only have access to something like PubMed, which is freely available on the internet, then we'll have to find an individual study, critically appraise it, and apply it, etc., doing all the steps in the doing mode. Now we'll go over each of these individual steps uh, throughout the course in each of the modules, because how we do each of these individual steps will be module specific. So, for example, in the diagnosis module, the resources we use to find evidence are going to be a little bit different in the module on therapy. How we critically appraise the evidence is going to be different in all the different modules. Um, how we apply the information will also be different along all the different modules. So we'll go into each of these steps and in individual modes of practicing evidence-based medicine in much more detail as you go through this course.